Hey Aries, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the rest of September 2022. You can see this reading for, for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Aries. Um, it's just energy and not gender specific. Please switch the roles, flip the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation, guys. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with all of you. Okay, so yeah. Um, so let's see, what is going on for Aries, please, in the rest of September 2022? What is going on for Aries, please? What's the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the rest of September 2022 for Aries? Wow, the sun. Oh my goodness. Okay, what else for Aries, please? We have adjacent possibilities. Ooh. And one more card for Aries. Contract. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So Aries, I see beautiful things coming your way in the rest of September. With the Sun card, you could be involved with a Leo or with contract here. You could be involved with a Libra, all right? But whatever this is, I, I see that there are a lot of options for you, okay? Um, now, this could be options in your romantic life. This could be options generally in your life related to your work, right this could be some something about your project or maybe you are signing a contract maybe you are getting into a new business deal of some kind maybe you are having a lot of options or clients coming your way so whatever this is this is beautiful energy guys the sun card this is the happiest card in the deck i mean this is the first card for you wow okay um you you might be experiencing a lot of um recognition in your work okay maybe you are getting noticed triple two on the clock guys so maybe you are getting noticed when it comes to your romantic life, okay? But whatever this is, this is like a lot of happiness, success, balance, opportunities, new doors opening for you well, okay? And with number six here, definitely some kind of a contract. If not contract, this is a balance coming into your life, okay? And maybe you, you were not expecting this. This could be very... Um, sudden for some of you maybe you were not expecting this to happen but beautiful times ahead for for Aries here wow okay so let's see what happened for Aries in the past what are what's the energy in the past for Aries please three cards for the past wow four of wands <laughs> Oh my goodness so you could have been dealing with a twin flame guys Okay, maybe you manifested your twin flame in the past. Let's see what else in the past. Triple three on the clock, guys. Queen of Swords, Libra energy again. Could be any air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And one more card for Aries. Hmm, Page of Swords. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so Aries, whoever this is, now this could be you, this could be your person, right? Um, so maybe you manifested this person into your life. Now this could be an, an air sign, okay? You manifest, maybe you were waiting for something like this to happen in your past, right? And this person showed up, they manifested in your life. Okay, um, the thing is with with the page of swords here, somebody was keeping an eye. Let's see, let's clarify this page of swords here. Why is the page of swords here, please, for Aries? Hmm. Okay, Knight of Cups. Okay, so I see maybe you are this Queen of Swords, Aries. Maybe you are very sure of yourself. You have like you had a lot of um, like 
very functional boundaries, very high standards, right? So maybe this person feels that something beautiful they have manifested for themselves in their lives. This is you. And this person constantly kept a watch on you. They had a lot of romantic feelings for you. They were actually quite determined to be with you, right? But with the Queen of Swords here, maybe something happened. Maybe this person was too much in your energy. Maybe this person was really like always there around you they were keeping an eye on you because they have so many romantic feelings for you so maybe you cut this person off maybe you were getting a little bit irritated with with whatever happened here okay and it could also be that when you met this person this person could have been a little bit bewildered right oh my god i can't believe it this beauty this wonderful beautiful person is in my life now i've been waiting for something like this to happen and finally this person is here in my life so this person was really like very bewildered with your beauty, with your personality, everything. So this person just didn't want to let you go, perhaps, and they were just always around you in your energy. And with the Queen of Swords here, who's famous to cut anybody off from her energetic field, who is just <laughs> not respecting her boundaries, so maybe you cut this person off. But it's not like that you were being rude. Maybe you tried to understand this person's point of view, their perspective. But maybe it wasn't really aligning to your values. Or maybe you thought that, that it's not really logical. Okay, so you might have cut this person off. I don't know, <laughs> Aries. Okay, so Aries could be can be real, really fiery. I know Aries can be really fiery and aggressive and like in the best of senses Aries not in a bad way so I know you don't take other people's bullshit I know that <laughs> okay so let's see what's happening in the present please in the rest of September what's happening for Aries in the rest of September please in the current energy four cards for the present what's happening for Aries here please thank you Ooh, the King of Cups. So this person's feelings have grown. <laughs> okay, so the more you are pushing this person away, they're feeling even more strongly for you. <laughs> because we had the Knight of Cups and now this is the King of Cups. <laughs> Their feelings have definitely grown. Oh, they are growing for you, but this person is really determined to be with you, Aries. <laughs> okay, this person has a lot of, maybe they are actually in love with you, Aries. <clears throat> but really, a lot of feelings for you. Oh my god, this person is loyal to you. They don't want anyone else. <laughs> Or maybe, Aries, there are two people in your energetic field here. One could be a water sign, one could be an earth sign. Okay, <clears throat> but both these people are very loyal to you. They want you and only you. <laughs> Aries, what have you done? Okay, two more cards for Aries, please. Oh my god, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> King of Wands, what? Three people, guys. Oh my goodness. We have three kings here, Aries. Oh my goodness, okay. Please, not the King of Swords. <laughs> That'll be crazy. Okay, one more card for Aries <clears throat> in the present. See, that is what this adjacent possibilities is talking about. You have a lot of options, Aries. <laughs> but this person from the past, right? This person's feelings have really grown for you. Since you, maybe you cut them off. This person's feelings have really grown for you, Aries. They are in love with you here. Okay, one more card. <clears throat> Two of cups in the reverse, okay? <clears throat> so, okay. 
So maybe you don't want a relationship with this this King of Cups here, this person from the past, right? Even though this person is really wanting to be with you, oh my goodness, so badly this person wants to be with you, but maybe you don't want to get to know them any further. Maybe you are done with this person. Okay, because maybe this person really keeps their eye on you and maybe you don't like it. <clears throat> okay, because the water energy, it's it's like really emotional and like nothing can deter me from deter me from my path. I want this person and whatever it takes, I'll just get to them. So water energy could be really uh, like weirdly emotional sometimes. So maybe you don't like this energy and maybe you just, you don't, you don't want to get to know this person anymore. Or it can be that you really don't want to date anyone, <laughs> even though you have so many options here. Maybe you don't, you don't want to be with anyone here with the Two of Cups in the reverse, right? But you do have a lot of options here, Aries. There are three options, definitely. It could also be four. Maybe somebody around you is a little bit younger than you. Maybe some, somewhat of an immature energy. If not that, maybe this is this King of Cups who, had, who has a lot of... I'm, I can't really stress enough on this, guys. Okay? But we do have a fire sign, an earth sign, and a water sign. So if there is an earth sign, this person is also very loyal to you. Maybe they are thinking about coming forward to, towards you. They are trying to bring you an offer of some kind. Maybe they want to date you. They want to take you out. Okay, get to know you a little bit. And <clears throat> there's also a fire sign, Aries, who's really passionate about you. Okay, and but this, this king of wands here... <clears throat> This is all about sexual intimacy, okay? This person is not emotional, right? So you are you could you could be someone really mysterious and this person finds you very alluring, very enchanting. They want to know you because you're so mysterious. It's like a desert rose, right? Very rare and unique. So yeah, so the Queen of Swords here. See, she doesn't take bullshit. She does her own thing. She's very independent and logical that way. So yeah, Aries. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Maybe this King of Pentacles here, they want to be in a relationship with you because we do have the contract here, right? So they're hiding some, some kind of an offer here. They want to be in a relationship with you. But this water sign here, I feel this person is getting like, you're not really giving this person your energy here because this person really keeps an eye on you. Even though you don't want this person around you, they are still always around you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what's happening in the future for Aries, please? What's happening in the near future? Two cards for future. <clears throat> okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. One more card for Aries. Nine of Wands. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So I feel here uh, this, um, this Earth Sign King, right? King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. They are both going to try and come towards you when when they feel the time is right okay um this this earth sign here they are definitely thinking about their future with you maybe they feel it's a destined connection right so they really can't get you off their mind and but uh, with the king of pentacles this person is really loyal to you they like there's no one else in their energy they're just very focused on you here uh, the king of wands can also try to come towards you aries right maybe there are some friends who are really encouraging this this king of wands here and like um and what do you say that very pompous energy i want to do this because i want to win this person oh yes this person is mine and i'm going to get it right so some kind of a uh, like bit of a pompous uh, energy here 
a very in inflated ego, something like that. But this is a very sexual energy with the wands here, right? So be a little careful, right? So just be careful because... Um, with the Two of Cups here, I seriously feel maybe you don't want to be in a relationship at all. Maybe you're just trying to do your own thing as of now. Maybe you are very focused on yourself, right? But these people here, they are just truly attracted to you. They are going to come towards you in the future, right, Aries? <laughs> so good luck with that. Um, I'll be continuing this reading in the um, extended version. You can find the link below in the description box. We'll find, like, we'll see what actions are being taken exactly, what actions are these, who is taking these actions, what is the time of their action, and what will be the outcome of the actions, and some extra guidance for you there. For those of you who are not joining me on the extended version, I'll just take one card for you guys as guidance for the rest of September. What does Aries need to know? Please, one card as guidance for Aries for the rest of September. <clears throat> wow, she is the moon. Oh my goodness, you are so beautiful, Aries. So maybe you are very fiery and mysterious. Maybe you are very feminine, but there's something really bold and sexy about you. That is why all these people, they're like, they are like um, moths to flame, right? But with the moon card here, you are being guided to trust your intuition. Just trust your intuition, take it slow, right? And be receptive. I think if these people are trying to throw some arrows at you, love arrows, maybe you are being guided to be receptive. Just be open and receive all these arrows and in time you can decide what is the best option for you, what do you want to do with your life, right? So yeah, really, just trust your intuition, Aries. Okay, guys, so this was your reading. I hope it resonated and helped you in some way. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.